up, my man and society? It is your host with the most, Shadow Loke. Back at you with another video. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe. That is how you'll help me get into the algorithm, how you'll help the channel. I would highly appreciate it. Now, what I wanted to talk about today was who is the enemy, the true enemy of the black and the brown? Well, the, the true enemy of the black and the brown is the same enemy of the whites and the Asians and everybody else. Um, that, doesn't fall, that doesn't fall under the 1%. Um, if there's one thing that I got from one of my subscribers um, who had recently commented on the Flats video that I did, uh, he put that um, with all the discussion of, of white, um, you know, like what exactly do I mean by white because um, you know like like I had said in that video that when these gangs first started there was Jewish, Italian Irish and all of that that were getting mistreated here along with the blacks and the browns yes um, and that was that was my bad um, so, so to clarify um, before Irish Italian, Jews and all that were seen as like blacks, they were seen as black. They were seen just like black people or, or Hispanics. Now you could be probably tripping out right there and being like, "Man, that's a trip." Because you look at a Jewish person or an Italian or an Irish, and an American, you're just seeing white. So are y'all white? You know what I mean? But in but in reality, back then it wasn't seen that way. Back then, Irish, Italian, and all them people were seen as um, they were seen just like blacks and Hispanics, bro. They didn't like them. They had signs, you know. No Irish, no, and they would call them by you know, by names, you know, dissing them, dissing the Irish, the Italians, and, and Jews, and stuff like that. So they were getting you know insulted. Um, so somebody that's from the outside looking in could probably be like, "What a trip! They all look white to me." Um, because before in America, right, certain of these white groups were were not seen as you know Caucasian. I guess you could say you know they were seen as Slavs or Anglo-Saxons and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so they weren't really seen as, you know, gavachos, whites. And back then, remember, back then, if you were of another ethnicity, you know, or if you came from somewhere else, you were not allowed to buy houses wherever you want or buy property wherever you wanted. Um, you know, you were not allowed to, um, how could I say, uh, buy land, own businesses, you weren't just allowed to live wherever you wanted. Back then, you were only allowed to live in certain areas and you weren't allowed to have your own businesses and stuff like that, right? Unless you were a part of, of the of the inner elite, right? The inner, uh, what you could consider white, I guess, right? Uh, well, what they considered white, right? Part of their social status. Um, but if there's one thing that I'll tell you, where they started to change that was, um, see, Manipulation, you don't have to be educated in uh, psychology in order to know about manipulation. Many people do it. Uh, as growing up, you know, a lot of a lot of our character traits that when we become adults, you know, stems from um, childhood, you know, like we learn as we go, right? Uh, so children in, them, in themselves experiment with all of this, you know. That's why, you know, when kids get in trouble, they, they, uh, they tell, a, you know, they tell a fib, you know. They, they say it wasn't them when it was them and stuff like that, right? And you as a parent is to regulate these, these bad behaviors, right? Um, you know, like, uh, you know, steer them onto the right course, right? But uh, most of the world's problems stems from people not, not doing that, not parenting. When parenting is very important, you as the adult... You know, in guiding your child, you know, towards the right way of how to behave, uh, you know, how to carry himself, um, right? Just assuming that they'll know or, or, or it's common sense is ridiculous. Remember, your common sense is not the same as the uh, child's common sense. You know what I mean? They're different common senses. Anywho, so, you know, it, it stems from that. So, you know, manipulation, you know, people know how to work it, right? And if there's one thing that the government is terrified of, the government is terrified of their people. They are. They are. Every government is terrified of the people because governments realize they have no power, bro. Governments have no power. Those who are in control really have no power. Like, they know that if their people rebel, it's game over for them. They're not stupid. They see that. 
you know, somebody who manipulates um, could see the end game, right? And it's in, you know, he, he, you know, what he tends to do is steer it, you know, steer it, you know, to different courses. That way they don't find the trace, you know, back to him, right? Um, they try to steer it as long as possible. <laughs> no, they ride it. They ride it till the wheels fall off. Anywho, um, so individuals, you know, see this, right? That they didn't want, no, because before you had, you know, these lower class, you know, whites along with these blacks and Hispanics. And, and now, you know, these people are, you know, growing tired of the, of the, you know, the not having the equal rights and stuff like that, right? And they seen that this was a problem because, you know, they were outnumbered, I guess you could say, you know what I mean? They didn't want these people rebelling, right? Uh, so then that's when they started having to allow, um, allow uh, certain whites to now own property, start their own businesses, meaning like Irish, Italian, Jews, and stuff like that, right? But still, you know, keeping minorities in the house because if there's one thing that you should know is that in order for sheer victory or in order for you to get to keep people in line or for people to do what you want them to do, um, you must apply, um, you must apply uh, some type of, 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 of controversy, some type of... Um, um, conflict with another group, right? That is how you get people to view it in your ways, right? So the blacks and the Hispanics were still in the outs, and they convinced these people uh, to, you know, to let bygones be bygones by, you know, hey, me and you have the same skin color, bro. I mean, you know, what does it matter if we come from different countries and, and different religions and stuff like that? You know, I mean, we're white, and look at them. They're not white, so, you know, like, it's all gravy between us. So, you know, they, they bought into it because, you know, like I said, everybody wants to climb up that ladder, right? So, you know, everybody's looking after their, their you know, their self-interest. So now these, you know, whites, um, these other, you know, ethnicities were allowed to own their own businesses and allowed to own land and stuff like that. So now interacting and intermingling with these other, you know, Caucasian, Anglo-Saxons, Slavics and all that, you know, that times, uh, you know, as time went along, the line started getting blurred and now people just considered white as you're white <laughs> when in reality uh, it wasn't like that before right but they manipulated that way right um that's when it started becoming about skin tones skin colors because before it wasn't about skin colors because remember they were getting mistreated too uh then that's when it truly started becoming about skin color you know but that's not how it always has been and see, the thing is that you don't learn about this stuff until you, you know, you go to college and stuff like that, that they educate you. But coming up in the in the school system, um, um, you, you're not taught this, right? And there's a reason why you're not taught this. It's not a conspiracy theory or none of that. People legitly fear an individual who's educated. If you are, if you manipulate, if, if you're somebody who's in the, how can I say, um, if you're one of the one percenters, right, you know, the rich, um, you're terrified of people um, educating themselves, right? Because when somebody is educated, they're harder to manipulate, bro, because now they know the facts and the truth, bro. And they're a lot harder to manipulate. It's more easier to manipulate someone who's uneducated, who doesn't know the history, who doesn't know none of that. Of course, it's easy to brainwash them. You know what I mean? Because they don't know no better. You know, and it's so easy uh, for them to side with you if you keep telling them that you and that person have something in common and that's why you're looking after him. Bro, look, it's because we white, bro, and and um, that's why I'm looking out for you, bro, because I just don't want to see none of my people. Or doesn't it only have to be white? I mean, it could be black, Mexican, or whatever, because all these groups use these tactics. Don't think that it's just, uh, you know, Caucasians or Anglo-Saxons that use this. No, blacks and browns use this too to create their own form of racism because white people do suffer racism, right? They have, society has them walking on eggshells, right? Uh, whenever somebody, whenever, if a white were to insult a Mexican or a black, it, 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 all hell's, all hell's breaking loose, you know, it's the end of the world. But as soon as a brown or a black insult a white, it's no biggie, eh? Ain't, ain't nothing to, hey, 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 we, we've been through a lot, they. Eh? Okay, well, at one point, you know, whites and all that, they, they were slaves themselves, too. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, I'm saying, um, why, what do these people have to do with what these other people did? Except the fact that they have the same skin tone. That's it. 
they have no connection to them. So why are you making them pay for these people's errors? That shit makes no sense. So if if racism is bad, when when a white person says it to a Hispanic or to a black, then it should be seen the same way when a, when these people say something to a white person or to an Asian or whatever. You know, you but you get what I'm saying. Um, it's not seen as less racist or not that much of a big deal. That's retarded. Racism is racism. Period. You know, um, so they legitimately fear people being educated because, um, you know, it's so easy to manipulate people who are uneducated. Uh, and that's why they make education so hard for individuals, right? Why, you know, college is almost like out of their reach. Uh, why uh, the school system teaches all this runaround shit that our school system has so much shit wrong with it. It's not even funny. I made a video discussing this. Uh, if you guys want, you guys can go watch that video. But there is there is so much wrong with our school system, right? Uh, the way, you know, what our kids are being taught and the way they're, they're being taught. Um, but it's done for a reason, though, and the reason why, uh, you know, college courses, you know, you know, cost so much and pretty much, you know, make it almost impossible for an individual is because they really don't want people educating themselves, bro. You know what I mean? You think these individuals want people educating themselves? No, because then people start, you know, you know, knowing what knowing what's happening and it becomes harder for them to to keep control of society. Um, not only that, but now, you know, for them to go and start their own business or their own products who could compete now against your products. And you really think these people want competition? You really think these people want you uh, taking half of their shares away or or even worse, take them out of business or whatever? Uh, even though there's room enough for us, all of us to eat. But, you know, these people are paranoid like that. They think like that, uh, that you're going to take out their business so. Because that's something that they would do. So they think that you would do the things that they would do. But not knowing that not everybody's the same right here. We're not all pieces of shit like you who are going to go and, you know, devour all these little businesses just because you want to, you know, feel like you can do that. But since they would do that because they don't care, they they don't give a damn who, how people are going to pay their bills or rent it. They, they don't give a shit, bro. And they think because how they see it that way, they really do think that everybody must see it the same way as them. Not everybody's a piece of shit like you, bro. That's the difference. You know, you know how there's people that that do things because you know how they say, "Oh, well, I only cheated because, uh, you know, I mean, she, she, I mean, eventually they were gonna cheat, or who's to say they're not cheating?" Like the reason you think the way you think, bro, is because you think like that because you see it that way, and that's the reason why you think that other people think like you. But that's not how the world works. Um, you know, so that's why they make it, uh, they don't teach, you know, individuals this kind of stuff, you know, the true, uh, you know, history of where racism comes from, uh, you know, how all of this shit even became and came into place and stuff like that, unless you take college courses. Well, now YouTube made it better because you could educate yourself on here too, um, you know, because you could, you could self-educate yourself too, you know what I mean? Um, but like I said, um, when it comes to when people say, um, excuse me, when people say, um, who, you know, who's the villain and people are always throwing, oh, it's because the whites, the whites, the whites, it's not the whites, bro. It's the rich versus the poor. Before, that's the reason why um, these Italians, Irish, and all of that were getting mistreated too, because they seen them just like these blacks and Hispanics. You know, poor, poor you know, whites, I guess you could say, were seen as scum too, right? Because you will never see a rich white person hanging around with a white, uh, with a poor white person. They see them unworthy, you know, of their, of their presence. <laughs> you know, because, you know, there is white people in the struggle right here with us who are suffering just like how we're suffering. Although they're manipulated, uh, you know, because like I said, they could, they share the thing in common um, because that's what people look for. They look for, uh, how could they identify with somebody, right? And if you share something in common with somebody, it becomes a whole lot easier to create a bond. Uh, that's why a lot of these people, it's a game of chess, bro. You know, their pawns in the, their pawns in it too. If anything, they suffer the most of, of manipulation and uh, um, they get used and idolized more than any of, any of the other groups <laughs> and by their own too. Well, what they consider their own. Like I said, bro, we're all the same. Man is created equal. This is just a skin tone. Nothing more, nothing less. It don't make you smarter. 
fly, you know, shoot lasers. Nothing, bro. It's just a freaking color. That's it. So man is all the same. There is no difference between whites, blacks, Mexicans. None of that, bro. Just because you're black, just because you're white or Asian or whatever, and you, you may think now because you're of this ethnicity that you're better than the next man. See, that's human behavior. Human behavior is always we want to seem like we're better than somebody else, right? We want to feel superior. Uh, when, when behaviors like that are not regulated, this is what occurs. Not only with religion, it happens with anything else. Oh, you that team won and that team lost, so now you guys are celebrating and they can't celebrate because they lost. You guys are winners. Um, or people want to feel that they're smarter. No, nah, these gang members are stupid. They're not on my level, bro. I actually finished school, so I think I'm better. You know, it happens with education. happens with money. It happens with rapping, sports, everything and anything, bro. It's all the same, bro. They want to feel superior to somebody. You know, that's what happens when you don't regulate behaviors. But that's just my, you know, opinion. You know, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Shadow, we out.